It is Manchester United 5, Leicester City 2, Manchester United going fox hunting today. Pow, 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 pow. Five shots to Leicester in the fires, in the guts everywhere going ow, ow, ow. You know we're in the UK, so fox hunting is our thing. But Manchester United goals galore. We finally got some goals. Another game for a very long time where we get to score more than three or four goals. And in the first half, Manchester United have scored four goals in the first half because since God knows how long. How wonderful. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But my God, something suspicious. So you telling me, Manchester United players, you are telling me that you would win to the egghead, go Baltimore, leaves so you can play good. So you can score four goals in the first half. You would wait for him. So you wasn't playing for him. You wasn't playing for Eric Turner. You wasn't playing for the manager. You just lost interest. You did this to him. Yeah, I know. We all know now it's all out. Because the freedom that Manchester United played, you know. Take the shackles off my feet so we can ball. We just won school goals. We just won school goals. And Manchester United school goals because the shackles off their feet so they can ball. Manchester United has made me happy today because it's going to be a good night. Goals galore. You know, but I'll calm myself down because, yeah, it is only Leicester making seven changes today, yeah, which had a huge impact on their performance, on their game, their match rhythm and their flow, their team chemistry, yeah. And let's just, pre let's just have this in mind. The real test comes against Chelsea. But Manchester United, hats up to you, man. Ruud van Istere, I hope he stays. I really hope Ruud van Istere stays because I don't want him leaving. It's not his fault. This is Ruud van Istere's fault that he's in this position where, listen, I was just about to go Burnley and then you called up and said, Ruud van Istere, Ruud, huh? Please come to Manchester, huh? Improve the attack, huh? It never, it never improved, joke man, huh? But yes, happy as Larry. Manchester United getting, no, getting that win through to the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. Manchester United playing so well in the first half, you know, so many players did well. I saw that I saw pressing that was really good for Manchester United, but that's also sort of a defense that makes me think, whoa, whoa. When when that Lindelof, aka Lindelof, aka Vindelof is in that defense, we are suspects. We are weak. Yes, Dilip can do it, can't do it all on his own. But that that guy is a liability. You have to carry that guy. We can see goals when. Lindelof is playing but overall it was good it was a good performance from the team especially in the first half like I said before very good goals Kase Miro Kase Hero the man himself the goals that he scored two goals from this guy two goals from this guy the first goal which was like wow where did that come from it, it, the screamer scorcher outside the box to the extent that we was thinking wait a minute was that a goal is that a That's how bad it was. Like, we're thinking, whoa, catch me off my god. The goalkeeper was surprised himself. He didn't see it coming. And then when again, Casemiro scored another goal, which was so good. Oh, what a game for him today. And Bruno Fernandes, Bruno Fernandes, a free kick with a deflection. But again, a second goal as well, uh, scoring from a mistake from Leicester City themselves. Going through, man, going through the goalkeeper and then finishing it off. You know what, Bruno Fernandes, he had a good game. Because you know why? I didn't see much of Bruno Fernandes today. I didn't see much of him, apart from his goals. He done a bit of stupidness that he always does because he's always going to give you that wild thing, the ADHD football that he presents. But, hey, big up to him, he done his thing. And Ganacho getting that goal... But we conceding that two goals, you know, the goal from Connor Cody uh, from a set piece. I didn't really like that. Uh, um, um, and as well was just too easy. We have to think of our defence. Our defence is a worry. But overall, Manchester United can be proud. But they told me and they showed you guys that they were not playing for Eric Ten Hag. But he is gone. He is gone. It's over. The storm is over now. Yes, it's over. It's over. Now we can move on. Oh, but, I, but guys, it is what it is. You know what? Today I have to say, players did so well. 
Rashford will never get goals anymore. I, I just think so. And Xerxes tried. Xerxes put his worked his socks off, but just couldn't get the goal. I, it's just it's, again, it's, it makes you think. Oh, that, I don't think it will work out. But it's very early. We're in October, approaching November. We'll see how the rest of the season goes before we make our judgment on Xerxes too tough. But so so far, it's not good. It's not good. Apart from that, you know, Bayinda did all right. But the best player of them all was Casemiro, my man of the match. They got to Casemiro showing himself the hero of the game. Tactically, we were so good as well. In terms of pressing, we, we pressed well. We looked for We always looked like we was going for another goal. And that was the difference with Ruud van Nistra in charge compared to the previous manager, that Scrub. Eric Scrub. Eric Scrub hog. That is Scrub, man. But I'm, I have to say I'm delighted. But again, I'm not going to get myself carried away, guys. We got Chelsea on Sunday. But we have to win that. And then our new manager should be there. The following week. Because I don't see our new manager, Amarin, coming this weekend, before the weekend, and, and sitting, stand, sitting in that dugout to manage a match. I just don't see it. I see Rude being there. You know us, Manchester United. We do things slow. We take our time. Even though this one was very quick, but we still... We don't have him here today. No, he's not hired today. He's going to be hired tomorrow. He's probably going to be get hired probably on Saturday. You just don't know. Friday, he might want to play his last game. But it is what it is. But you guys let me know who your man of the match is. Your donkey of the match. This has been your match reaction by your boy Alvarez. But let me know your thoughts of the match in the comments as well. Subscribe to Ready United TV and become a member of Ready United TV by clicking on that membership button and selecting a pair that suits you. And follow Ready Night TV on Instagram, Ready Night TV One. Till next time, we see you on Sunday for the watch along against Chelsea, baby. But we are through, baby. The Fox has got it. Pow, 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 pow.